safety, would you take a lift to the hospital? Well, it's an option Mecklenburg County EMS service offers for low risk patients, but medic says many have refused it, preferring an ambulance instead. Medic is short staffed and says it could take up to 60 minutes for an ambulance to respond to low risk patients. WCNC Charlotte's Lana Harris reports it's not a new concept and one alternative for overwhelmed EMS agencies. In the age of technology, some have made ambulances an expense of the past using rideshare services to get to hospitals. So how many hospital visits did you get called for? Oh my goodness, um, a lot. <laughs> Essence Massey says she was a Lyft driver for four years and remembers having to respond to an urgent situation. Yes, I just, I pulled up and uh, the boyfriend, he's like, um, you know, flagging me down. I'm like, hey. <laughs> Massey says he told her his girlfriend was pregnant. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, she's giving to have the baby. I said, right now? <laughs> he's like, yeah, he's like, her water just broke. And I was like, oh, um, well, let me get a blanket. Jonathan Studnick with Mecklenburg EMS says they've now partnered with rideshare services like Lyft and Uber as an alternative option for people who don't require an ambulance and EMS personnel care. When you hit the nurse triage line, right, if you, when you answer all of those questions and they say, ah, the only thing this person really needs is transport to an emergency department. Uh, we'll offer you a lift. So far, Stenick says many patients have refused it. Uh, we've had 109 successful trips uh, since October 1st, but we've had very many more eligible uh, individuals. As Mecklenburg EMS faces a staffing shortage, employees in isolation due to COVID, and a higher call volume, Stenick says people opting in for the rideshare would help spare resources. I mean, I would do it. <laughs> it's much cheaper. Studnick says an ambulance is significantly more expensive. The standard rate's about $1,000. A lift, on the other hand, is about $16 a transport. Lana Harris, WCNC Charlotte. Wow, we're told Medic is covering the cost of ride shares for those who opt into the program. They say it's currently cheaper than the cost of staffing an ambulance.